Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving problem 189, rotate array. The problem statement is, we are given an array and we need to rotate it to the right by k steps where, where k is a non-negative number. If we look at example number 1, we are given an array nums and the k value is 3. So we need to return the output or modify the nums array which is given as an input and shift all the elements to the right by three spaces. This one which was at position 0 was moved to position 4. 2, 3, 4 were also subsequently moved but the last character which is 7 because we cannot move it outside the array as the length is not sufficient this will come to the start. So hence we moved 7 to index 2. So first it moved to index 0 then 1 and then 2. Hence we have 7 at 2. Similarly 6 is at 1 and 5 is at 0. This problem can easily be solved with a time complexity of O of n and space complexity of O of n2. Because you can create a new array, keep moving all of the elements from this array to the newer one and solve it. But the challenging part over here is to solve it with O of n time complexity and O of 1 space complexity. So without building a new array, we need to modify the input array and return the results. So without wasting any time, let's switch to whiteboard and start discussing. Let's use the example that is given in the problem statement. Now talking about the simple solution where our time complexity is O of n and space is O of n as well. The simple solution to solve this problem is to have a new output array and use this output array to maintain the new positions of each of the input or each of the elements and overwrite the original input with this output array that we built and return it. So when we are now finding out the new index, the simple formula is i plus k. Let's take a couple of examples. So when my current i is 0, with this formula, my new i will become 3. So I will take the value at position 0 and move it to 3. Now let's look at the next value. So when I'm at 1, my new value will become 4. So 2 will be here. The next value is 5. And after that, I have 6. When my in original index is 3, so my new index is becoming 6. So I can still place it in the array within its limits. So my 4 will be here. Now here's where the a bit challenging part comes up. When I have 4, so my new index will be 7. Now 7 is greater than the length of the array. So we cannot add it anywhere else. So we need to modify our formula a bit to accommodate that scenario. So all we need to do is do a mod with the length of the array. So whenever we have a value which is greater than the length of the array, we'll apply the mod and we'll get the remainder. So in this case, my remainder will be 0 because the length is 7. So I will place the next value which is at index 4 at 0. So at index 4 I have 5. So this 5 will move to index 0. For the remaining two values I will approach with the same formula. So my next value for 5 the total is the total is 8. So the new value will become 1. So I will place it at 1 and 7 will be placed after that. Now because we were building this array and then later on overriding the input array with this new built array, our space complexity is O of n. I hope you were able to follow this simple solution. Now let's talk about how we can op solve it optimally. So this is the output that needs to be written. Now if you try to look at the pattern over here between the two, k is equal to 3, this last part of the array has been moved to the first part and this first part of the original input array has been moved to the second part. Anchor or the split at which these two sections are divided based on the value 3. So if I try to simplify it or build a logic, first step is to reverse the whole array. Now if using this value of k, we can split this array into two sections. 7, 6, 5 will be the first section and 4, 3, 2, 1 will be the second one. Now we need to do is reverse these two sections separately. This will give me 5, 6, 7 and the second part would give me 1, 2, 3, 4. 
which is exactly what we were looking for. I hope you are able to follow. The simple solution is to first reverse the original input completely and then break it into two sections and again reverse individual section separately which will give us the output that we are looking for. Because we are reversing the array, we do not need any extra space which we are saving in this solution. Hence, our space complexity is improved to O of 1. I hope you were able to understand this logic of how we broke this down into separate steps and solved it one after the other. Let me show you how the same solution can be implemented using C sharp. In my C sharp solution, in the main method, I start with having some validations to check if my nums is not null, the length is greater than zero, and also the value of k is greater than zero. If value of k is zero, it means we are not actually moving any of the elements to the right, hence we don't need to do any changes. The next step, I am doing a mod on the value of k based on the length of, of the nums array. This is to cover the scenario if the value of k is greater than the length of the array. After that, I am reversing the input array completely from start all the way to the end. After the complete array is reversed, the next step is to reverse separate sections. So I am breaking the array into two parts. The first one starting from 0 all the way to k minus 1 index. So the first k elements and I will be calling this helper method passing this indexes. This helper method accepts an array, the start index and the end index and all it will do is reverse all the elements between the start and the end in that array. Once the helper method execution is complete, all the elements will be reversed. After the first part of the array is reversed, I am calling the method again but this time I am passing a different start and end index. So my start is k and the end is the, the nums.length minus 1. Once this helper method execution is complete, the second part of the array will be reversed and we will have our output in this nums array. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to understand my explanation and the solution. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me via the comments below. This source code is available on my GitHub repository. Feel free to check that out. I will be adding the link in the description below. Thank you.